my name is Molly and welcome to a homespun house. This is my little corner where I chat with you all about the things that I've been creating for my shop and the things that I've been creating for myself, my family, friends, people I care about with needles, yarn, so knitting. I love to knit and hand dye yarn for my shop at Homespun House. I've been doing a bit of knitting since we last spoke, which hurrah, it is not that long since we last spoke, which feels really, really great to, I could say be in sort of a rhythm, but I think two times in the last almost month isn't really a rhythm, <laughs> but it feels good nonetheless. The last time that I filmed, I shared with you a lot of socks that I had knit in the past. I have really been on a huge sock kick. I enjoy knitting socks so much. I realize right now though that my little basket of socks is right here. So let me grab that because of course I have four finished pair of socks to share with you guys. Before I do that though, I'm going to share with you all what I'm wearing. This is the balloon cardigan by Petite Knit. It is pretty large. Um, I don't remember what size I knit. I either knit the size small or medium. I'm guessing I knit the size small because that's what I knit all of my Petite Knit sweaters in. And so yeah, it's, it's pretty large. I mean, the camera's pretty close, so it's a bit difficult to show, but I love this cardigan. I knit it using our non-superwash DK weight yarn in our antique colorway, and then I paired it along with our antique alpaca, Surrey alpaca, alpaca silk. I believe this is the second garment I've knit alpaca in. When I first knit this, it shed like crazy. If I would wear my black jeans, a black shirt, I had hair everywhere. And I kind of just had it be a house cardigan that I wore and then I depilled it. It has not shed really at all since. Um, I don't have it on any of my clothes. I've worn this all day. I've, I've been wearing it for quite some time. I love this cardigan. It's so warm and I'm not really a cardigan kind of girl, to be honest. I generally wear sweaters and I like them to be quite cropped. So to be wearing an oversized cardigan, which I probably, probably would prefer to a fitted cardigan, but that's a completely different conversation because I do like fitted cropped cardigans. Um, but this one's really nice, really cozy. I feel really comfy in it. I also think it's nice looking and stylish at the same time, just because of the oversized, comfy, cozy, but still sleek look of it. I think especially if you do it in a tonal, as well as the non superwash yarn, it helps it keep its shape because there is that alpaca in there, which can really, really stretch. And if you have that paired with a superwash yarn, it is really going to stretch. So that's what I'm wearing. Balloon cardigan by Petite Knit in our antique colorway, non-superwash DK, non-superwash alpaca silk. Love it. Let me grab a cup of coffee. I've always had hygge boxes in the fall, winter, and then into like late winter. This year we didn't carry them on that long. So I'm really itching to do a really fun summer box of hygge. It's been really in my mind lately. I love putting the hygge boxes together and I feel like everybody couldn't use a box of hygge right now in the summer at all times. So that's marinating in my mind. And Baja make these, makes these. She is living in Germany, in Berlin actually. And I love these handleless mugs. They're really substantial. This one in particular, it's probably my favorite one of hers. And I, I enjoy it so much for a cappuccino, for a cup of coffee. It's a really, really great size. Let me share with all of you the socks that I have finished. The first pair of socks that I finished, well, actually the first, the two pair of socks are ones that you guys have all seen. I've shared them with you last time. If, if you watched the last episode, 
This is our white noise sock set. We do have this one available in the shop and it's paired with Lincoln. This is a tonal yarn that you can get on its own and the darkening only comes as a sock set. You cannot get it without the Lincoln. And we just have the darkening available on a fingering weight basis at the moment. So I did a two by two ribbing on a two millimeter needle and I think I did 64 stitches. Heel flap and gusset like I always do. And just the same sock I always knit. So I love these really nice, um, evenly speckled colorway. The next pair of socks that I knit and finished are Ruby's Advent Socks. I knit this out of beetroot, is this colorway. And then Christmas Jammies. This was again a Christmas holiday themed sock set that we carry during the holidays and it will be coming back this late autumn come Christmas time for all of you to enjoy as well. I've had a bit of you begging me to put it in the shop. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it yet at this point. I love Christmas yarns. I, as you've seen, I'm knitting with Christmas yarns right after Christmas. Um, and I'm considering casting on another pair, but I don't really think I'm going to start selling them in the shop just yet. These were December's, is that right? These were January's, <laughs> um, Patreon sock yarn. So as you know, there's a specific tier of Patreon and you get a one of a kind sock set. The tonal will always be something you can get in the shop. This is Amethyst. And then I dyed up a colorway called Daydreamer. And there is that. Very, very pretty. This is a pair that I knit for Ruby. And I think I might save these to give them to her for her birthday. I don't know, maybe I'll give them to her sooner. So those were a lot of fun to knit. I cannot wait to cast on February's Patreon socks. They are, they're perfect for the way I'm feeling right now. I feel like spring is coming at least here in Germany. And then it's the final pair, four was right. I did not do five of socks that I knit is a scrappy pair of socks. These are super fun. These are literally scraps. These were every bit that I had left almost. I'll show you why in just a minute of these colorways. So I knit the leg not as long as I normally do because these are for my eldest daughter, Elodie. She does not really like, she doesn't even really like long leg socks. It's winter. She needs to wear a little bit longer sock which contradicts what I just said that I feel like spring is on the way, but it still is cold outside, okay? I'm just, it feels like spring somehow, okay? <laughs> um, here we have whale belly, marigold, juniper, French kiss. Let's see if I can, French kiss, bohemian. This was our advent colorway, cozied up by the fireplace. Then we have fern, aloe, this is Utopia. You can get this as a sock set. This is the third pair of socks that I've used Utopia in. It is gone now. I used every bit on these socks. You can see on this heel, I was able to get the entire heel. And then this one, I was cut short and had to go into this beautiful blue. And then I used my pumpkins and gourds leftovers. Again, every bit of leftovers. I didn't have any more after I finished the sock other than, I don't know, four centimeter tail. <laughs> um, so even, and this was also a Patreon colorway, the pumpkins and gourds. So these are super fun. These ones will be for Elodie. So I'll probably gift them these. Adod wants hers right away. She asked me this morning if she could wear them and I said, I'm sorry, I have to show them when I film. Going to have to wait until tomorrow. So I'm guessing she is going to ask me later 
or at least tomorrow morning if she can wear them. Those are the four socks that I have recently finished for my girly oldies. And I like to keep my socks in these little baskets here. Just out and pretty and uh, they're really fun to look at. I do have this pair of socks. This was from 2020 20 Advent. This was a cozy knitter pair of socks. I did the cuff in our Lincoln colorway, same with the toe. And I wanted to do afterthought heels to which I haven't done yet. So these socks, I should probably pull out and make myself do afterthought heels. I've never ever done an afterthought heel before, never. So I feel intimidated just because I know that I have to take the time to learn something new. And I don't know why, I just, that doesn't really interest me right now, especially because I love my heel flap and gusset. But when I knit these socks, I did not plan them to be for myself anyway. So I'm sure the person who those are intended for will like an afterthought heel. So with the leftover scraps that I had from those socks, oh, I thought I just took out my needle. I did not, thank God. I used every last bit on this project. So this is just kind of a, a fun project here. Way, way back when, I don't even know. Eight years ago or so, um, for those of you who've been watching for a long time, I vlogged when we were staying in Oldenburg and Robert was working on a play. Robert's my husband. I knit Elodie a small garter stitch blanket for her stuffies, her dolly, and um, the girls still love it. Ruby uses it a lot more than Elodie now, but it is definitely in use at least three times a week, I would say. And so Ruby loves her stuffies, her dolls, stuffies in particular, and she's always wrapping them up in blankets and using them for things. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to knit with my scraps another little blankie for Ruby's doll. Her birthday is in May, and I think that this would be a really, really nice um, gift to give her along with a little stuffy. I haven't decided if I'm going to knit a stuffy or buy a stuffy. Um, I haven't decided that yet. I think I'm going to probably buy one. I don't know if Ruby is really so interested in a knitted stuffy, unless it was maybe heavy on alpaca or something. I think she'd want it to be pretty furry. I'll have to give that some thought. So I'm knitting these on my Haya Haya straight interchangeables. I and then I have this super cute little needle stopper. I'm going to start selling these in the shop and offering them with kits. I have a lot of really fun, super cute uh, choices, but I love this sweet little rabbit. Love these needle stoppers also. I have them on um, this and then I have them on the sweater that I'm making. But these are so much fun. I know a lot of people love to use their um, is it called? They're really, really sharp. Everyone says they're very expensive needles, straights, and I love the Haya Haya sharp interchangeable needles. You can use them as straight needles and get one of these beautiful pearlescent backs for them. We sell Haya Haya needles in the shop, and I think that this is a needle that I have to bring for the shop. There are so many people who are making cozy memories blankets, who do so many different things where they have a special needle for it. And this with the different colored um, ends, they're little glass beads that you just put on and take off. And then you can make the needle longer if you want. Anyway, I love these needles. I feel like it's a treat when I'm able to use them. I use them when I knit my Cozy Memories blanket, which is now finished and we use it on our sofa. Um, so I was really, kind of itching to use them again. And this project could not be more perfect. So I really, really love it. And it's much bigger than it looks. It's, it's about, I don't know, 
that large, at least about twice the size when it's opened. It's just really scrunched on these needles and I'm having fun. I'm having fun using up every bit. I'm magic knotting it and enjoying it. So in this basket where this is uh, being held, I have a project that I really want to cast on because I don't have a pair of socks on my ne needles right now. And I have this much left of our Cozy by the Fireplace colorway. I thought this would be really fun for heels. I think I'm going to do heels on this project. So a contrasting heel. I always do heels on socks, but lately I haven't been doing a contrasting heel. And I think I might do a cuff heel and toe because I have so much of this colorway. And then I have our Lincoln colorway, which is now the third time you've seen it on this episode. And I think these would make beautiful Cineva socks by Lena Gerald. I've knit this pattern twice. Elodie loves cabled socks. This is kind of like a mock cabled sock. And these are just so beautiful, pretty simple. And I really enjoyed doing a bit of a pattern lately. So that's what I'm considering. And I think that these two colors would look really nice together. This is a 50 gram skein. And as I said, this is just leftovers from my socks uh, that I knit at Christmas time from the socks that I knit for Elodie. There's a teeny little strip of that in here. And uh, I'm looking forward to casting those on. So I think those need a 2.5 millimeter needle because it's cable. So that will be interesting to start using a 2.5 millimeter cable again. Do any of you guys have coffee warmers? I who drink my coffee and wander around my shop into the dye studio, out of the dye studio, into the processing room, into the room where all of the yarn is. I'm moving all the time and I make my coffee in the morning and I try to drink my first cup of coffee. I usually have two coffees a day, maybe a cappuccino and then a coffee. And uh, my coffee warmer could not be more wonderful. I first saw it when Meg had it from Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits and she went on and on about it a few years ago and I got one and yes, it is worth it. I don't even think they're that expensive. They might be 10, 15 euro, something like that. And you can choose how hot you want it. There are three different settings. The last one will burn your coffee if you leave it on for too long. But if you want it to heat up quickly, if you realize you forgot to put it on and you put it on there for about 15 minutes, perfect temperature. Or you can just put it on the little um, coffee pot and uh, it, it'll keep it warm. <laughs> I love it. Just wanted to bring it up and share it with those of you who also have cold coffee <laughs> and don't want it, like don't intend to have cold coffee. All right, so the final thing that I am working on, it's really crazy the way that I've been working on projects lately because I haven't been working on a lot. The only active things on my needles, well, this is the only active thing and this, what I'm about to share with you. So this is the festival sweater, my size. That's the name of the pattern. I'm not saying it's my size. This is called the festival sweater, my size by Petite Knit. And I'm knitting this out of our DK weight yarn in our non-superwash base, which I have gone on and on about because I love non-superwash yarn. I want to use it for everything. I really want to knit a pair of mittens. And in the past, I have knit mittens out of superwash yarn which now thinking about it just seems so ridiculous because as I've mentioned, superwash yarn soaks up water. So if you intend on touching any snow, your mittens are going to get wet so quickly. We were just in, in Hotz, um, which is in the north of Germany and it's up in the mountains. And uh, I had on a fair isle pair of mittens that my grandma had knit out of pure wool, non-superwash and my hands were warmer than anyone's and it was a worsted weight, worsted DK and they never got wet, never. 
and uh, we were hiking in the mountains, we were sledding, we were touching snow, we were in the snow. And uh, I would really, really love to knit a pair of non super wash mittens at some point, just a, just a plain pair of nice, cozy mitts. Really, really love those, probably for the girls this winter. So that will be at some point. Anyway, I am knitting this out of our oatmeal colorway. And then I have whale belly and marigold for the little trimmings here. I finished the sleeves. Oh, I knit this in a size small as well. So this is a size small. I still love this design element, this folded over neck. I think I have it in one or two other garments and I really enjoy it. It's a beautiful, beautiful look to the garment. I'm curious how a cuff would look if it was folded over like that. Have any of you done that? What, do you, what are your thoughts on that? But I love it. I love the non-superwash yarn. In fact, I am highly considering offering a non-superwash advent calendar this year for the first time. Now, it will not be the only option. I know most of you love your superwash yarns and I love superwash yarns too, but I have really grown an extreme fondness for non-superwash yarns. Um, our calendars will go live April 1st. And as I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a non-superwash yarn. There might be the option of superwash or non-superwash. You'll have to wait and see. If you are truly interested and would purchase a non-superwash advent calendar from a homespun house, please let me know. I, it's a yarn that I would have to custom order, have custom spun, and I need to have obviously a certain amount of people interested in order to have it reeled and spun for me. So non-superwash, absolutely beautiful. I've gotten to the arms, as I said, and I probably have one more strip. I'll have to do one more of these bobble rounds in the marigold. I think I'm going to try it on though because it is very possible that it's already long enough especially when I, when I add the ribbing. So we shall see. I think it's a size that I could already, could already try. I know that the arms are similar to the balloon uh, cardigan where they do not decrease. And then I'll probably do a rapid decrease for the wrists like I did with this one. It is getting so dark outside right now. It is six o'clock and uh, the lighting still looks pretty good, which is interesting. I hope, I hope it does. Um, yeah. So that's all that I have on my needles right now. I can't wait to cast on those Cinnaba socks. Pretty sure that's what I'm going to be casting on, as I said. And uh, cast on another sweater. I'm thinking I'm going to be casting on a sweater for my mom. She's still kind of, deciding what she wants. First, she thought that she would do a Scandinavian sort of Fair Isle sweater. Then she thought that she would do different shades of purple, stripey sweater. She thought about, what did she think about? Oh, she thought about doing a, a pure sweater in our hearth, Gold Stellina. So they're all very, very different ideas that she has for her sweater. So that will be cast on at some point. That will probably be a no frills, but without um, without the mohair. So maybe not a no frills. I'll have to figure out a simple raglan pattern, maybe. I'll have to see what she wants. We will slowly be getting in some mini skein sets in the shop. We have a little house on the Prairie Yarn Club in the shop right now. These Happy Golden Years, which is a book that I absolutely adore. Um, super fun. I'm rereading it again. I've read it so many times, but as the club is being shipped in a little over a month, I'm wanting to read it again. And there are charms for those provided by Lindsay of Simply Serving, if you want your charm option. And then we're going to be having a huge, huge amount of Simply Serving charms coming into the shop um, in April, end of April. 
cannot wait to share those with you. Those will also be going into some kits and I have a lot of fun ideas for those. Lots of sock sets, lots of new colors, lots of spring yarn, lots of summer yarn. I'm feeling so inspired right now and I cannot wait to pour that inspiration through my hands into the yarn and share that with all of you. I hope that you guys are doing well this week and I will see you all again soon.